going after your dreams, going after what you love, what you're passionate about can be scary. But I feel like at a certain point, it becomes scarier to know that if you don't put in that work, if you don't go after what you want, you may not ever have that which you want. And I say this now because I'm getting older and we're all getting older, right? No matter how young you are, we're all getting older. But getting older puts a different spin, a different sense of urgency into doing the things that we know we need to do to get ahead, that we know we need to do to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. Where it's like, hey, you know what? I'm not always going to be a youngin, right? I'm going to get to a point where it's going to be like, what did I do with my life? And all of these things that I wanted to do, why didn't I do them? And why did I do all the things that I did that I wasn't passionate about? And why did I do all those things that I didn't care to do as if my life depended on it? When in reality, your life, your purpose depends on you putting in the work towards those things that you really do want to do, the things that you love, the things that you're actually passionate about. And Les Brown talks about this, how the richest place on earth is a cemetery because there's so many unrealized dreams there. So many of us go to our graves with unfulfilled dreams with unfulfilled goals because we were too afraid to go for it. So the reason why I'm saying this now is because we've just started a new year and every year we set up goals. And then at the end of every year, most of us didn't accomplish any of those goals because we continue living life as if it's just another day and we're going to be here forever. And we have all the time in the world when we don't. And that's the beauty of getting older that you start realizing we don't have forever right? Or at least I hope that we will start thinking that way and realizing our time on this earth is limited. So what are you doing? If you're not doing something that you love, if you're not doing something that you're passionate about, what are you doing? If you're living life, going to work like a zombie, like a robot, you're just doing the same thing over and over again, not seeing any progress, not seeing any growth in yourself, but just paying the bills as everyone does just working a nine to five because that's what everyone's supposed to do. Where are you going mentally? Where are you going emotionally? What are you doing for yourself? How are you feeding your soul? And this is not to point fingers at anyone because we all go through it, right? Some of us, a very few amount of us actually go for our dreams full speed, right? Fearlessly. But for most of us, it's not fearlessly. We're fearful of the success. We're fearful of What if I don't make it? What if I don't have what it takes? What if no one cares? Let me tell you right now that no one cares. No one cares until they care. Yeah? All of those people out there, successful people, whether it's ball players, whether it's artists, whether it's doctors, whoever it may be, before they were successful, nobody cared. No one cared if they made it. No one cared if they didn't make it. Everyone's going to have an opinion at all times, whether you're doing good or you're doing bad. But until you make it, that's when everybody's, yes, I knew you would make it. I know that you would. And I know that person, right? So let me tell you right now, nobody cares. The only person that cares and the only person that's putting roadblocks and the only person that's overthinking your process is you. And this goes to me as well, because I know me and I know that I procrastinate and I overthink a lot. But in all honesty, I refuse to end this year in the same place that I started it, because I know that. I'm getting older and I don't get the same day twice. And I'm sick of feeling sometimes like I don't have a purpose, right? We're all put here on earth for a reason. We have to look for that purpose. We have to go through life, not as if it's our last day, as if it's our first. Excited. I want to be excited. I want to know that I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing. I want to know that everything that I have in me, I'm giving it out into the world, right? And I want to know that one day when it's my last day here on earth, I gave it my all. So happy 2024. We are two weeks into the year. Give it your all. Let's give it our all. And we'll meet back here again at the end of the year and see how far along we've come. I'm not saying go fearlessly after your goals and your dreams. Go even with the fear overcome that fear, take that fear and run with it. But at some point you will overcome it. All that fear is telling you is that it's something meaningful out there that you really want, but don't just sit where you are and eventually become disappointed and angry at yourself for not having even tried. 
you got this, you can do it, we can do it, and whatever it is that you want, go full force for it, right? We, we're not promised forever. I'll see you guys here again, well, on the next video, but as a continuation of this video, at the end of the year, God willing, and we'll see how far we made it, okay? I'll see you guys later.